Finally! Guaranteed rain! Now I must seek the storm! But before any of that, let's check and see how my Survivors of the Void video went. Yes! Yes! Uh, it was mostly right. I could maybe frame that alongside the comments I got from Hope of Games. Who knows? Maybe they or the new devs will do the same on this video. Right? Anyways! Seekers of the Storm has been announced, and I put one soul down on hold to talk about this, because Risk of Rain 2 is one of my favorite games of all time. So, yeah. That, and they're revealing new details soon. Like, really, really soon. So I want to have this out before that comes out. Kind of a bad speculation video if it comes out after. So, same deal as last time. And for those who weren't here last time, this video will cover what survivors are we getting for this new expansion. Well, I have some categories to go over. Then, like last time, I'll go over the ideas I think are most likely in the final thoughts section. And since we got two survivors last time, we'll just go based on that assumption here, okay? All right, let's jump right in. No jokey trains. This video is sponsored by my series, One Soul Down. Go check out One Soul Down. My best editing is in One Soul Down, and the cast is really funny, and please, it's really good, I swear. Out of the four survivors remaining from the original game, only one can take the spot. I mean, two could, but I just, I don't, like, see that happening. Like, it kind of would mess with the flow of the script, and I, like, I, I don't... Enforcer. Chef, Handy, and Miner. Those are our options. Now let's look at each of them and give them a verdict. We won't really need the survivor poll as much this time, and if you want like a deep delve into how these characters would function and my full extent of thoughts on them, I kind of did that last speculation video and my thoughts haven't changed too much. Think there was no more speculation videos? Think I was done? There's always speculative content. Oh, that didn't age well, did it? Enforcer, my personal choice for who I'd consider for this expansion. While I'd prefer to see them in the Imp or Hell-based expansion, if this is the only Risk of Rain 2 expansion, I'd want Enforcer to be here the most and feel they deserve it most. They're still alive in the lore, though. We haven't had a Close Quarters or Melee survivor in a long time, and I still think taking inspiration from Minecraft's shielding mechanic would be hella unique. Out of all the survivors, I just don't see them not making the cut. Chef, one of the most highly requested survivors in the game. If Enforcer was saved for a potential imp expansion later on, then Chef would have the perfect time to shine here and now. I even said as much last time how Chef would be perfect for like a old favorites expansion. And this could be that sort of approach. However, my bet is still on our shield wielding menace, at least for right now. I definitely see Chef being someone they'd want to save for one last edition at the very end of development. We also gotta save him from the void, so there's that too. In other words, let him cook. Handy! While Hopu Games scrapped the character for Multi, that's a different studio for the people who run Risk of Rain 2 now. That and their low popularity even today makes me think that they're not all that likely. There's genuinely not much for me to say here. Like, I loved Handy in the first game, personally, but I just don't see them returning beyond the little cameo they already have. Sad. Minor. My thoughts haven't changed too much since last time. I think this character would work if you basically put the Minecraft crafting in the Risk of Rain. Ridiculous, but that's just how it feels. Granted, even if I don't think Minor is happening, because Loader stole all the mobility Minor had in spades, I believe another melee fighter is greatly needed. How would they do it? Who would they pick? Questions for later. And the verdict? I believe it is between Chef and Enforcer. However, I'm leaning more towards Enforcer due to being more of a tank, more of a close quarters fighter, and it's been a while since we've had one of those. Survivors of the Void really kind of focused on long to mid-range combat, so having some more close quarters hitters would be really good this expansion. But again, Chef could surprise me. For Risk of Rain Returns, they added a couple new survivors who weren't in the original game. Artificer, who is already in 2, can easily be skipped. Now while she is being skipped, her being involved in this title makes me believe a survivor from Returns can make a sort of guest appearance here. Drifter. This was a fun pick, 
However, I just don't see it happening for Risk of Rain 2. She feels like a good fit for Return specifically, and honestly, that's okay. It just seems like more of a challenge to transition her moves which fit the sprite-based 2D game into a 3D environment. At least comparatively to another choice later, that is. If she were to drop into Seekers of the Storm, I wouldn't be disappointed. I just think that the other choices earn my attention more and should have yours to pilot. That's right, I'm saving the best for last. The pilot genuinely seems like they'd have the most potential in Risk of Rain 2, especially if more vertical-centric stages are being added. The mobility options could rival Loader, and honestly, it sounds pretty fucking nice being able to just Breath of the Wild around all the stages if you ask me. Oh shit, right, Robomando. Robomando is a thing, I think. This one is interesting? Gonna be real with you for a second, I don't think they'll get into Risk of Rain 2, but the concept was... something? They're just commando, but better? Possibly broken? With the unlock process being several runs worth, you'd expect this one not to be a mean choice, but here we are. I have no words really to describe this character based on what I've seen, but I can just kind of assume this one's a no. Verdict says... Pilot. Really, that's the only smart choice here. Not saying the other two characters are bad. What is a really unique take on a humanoid scavenger, and the other is Robomando, which is interesting. But just think of what they could do in 3D, and Pilot sticks out way more. Problem is, would a Risk of Rain Returns character that's relatively new be prioritized over a character from Risk of Rain? Or a new character altogether? That's what we'll have to find out. Anyways, that should be it for returning survivors. Wait, why is this like a cutaway, like there's supposed to be more that I'm about to get ready to talk about, like right now? I'm gonna be real with you, most of these I don't think would make it into Risk of Rain 2, and honestly, I'd prefer they focus on the classics or just completely new designs over gotcha characters anyways. And I'll be honest, these characters don't feel like they're from Risk of Rain. Of course, this could be gotcha-related issues, this could be art style direction. I don't know, I don't see any that I'd even like be like, hey, that should be in Risk of Rain 2. You know? So revamped survivors, what does that mean? Well, I'm referring to cases like Multi and Railgunner with Handy and Sniper. They completely replaced their original counterparts while also having a major resemblance to them. Hell, even their monsoon skins are just callbacks to the originals. If my previous choice of Enforcer isn't actually picked, they could maybe make a knight-based character and merge Miner and Enforcer together. Or something along those lines. Maybe the Enforcer from Risk of Rain lost some of his gear and his weapon. Maybe he's got a more melee focus now with, say, a spear, which was on an older pull, alongside his traditional shield. Maybe he's, I don't know, the Pathfinder or something. Or, you know, just make a legitimate knight character. That would be kind of funny with the little helmet guard and everything. Anyways, I genuinely think this expansion will have an actual returning character as priority over a completely revamped one. The community has certain attachments to other survivors, and with this being a completely new company in charge, Ooh. I could see them wanting to play it a little safe and cater to those fans. So with Survivors of the Void, it felt obvious we would get someone who could influence the Void. So for this expansion, it makes sense to have a character that ties into this expansion's theme. Problem is, what really is the theme? What's the goal? There's a lot of questions we just don't have answers to, and it's hard to speculate on this when all of it is mostly still unknown territory. I'm shooting in the dark here, but fuck it, I'd win. What I think of here is kind of like the Enchanter in Divinity 2. In that game, status ailments are key, so if you have an enemy in a puddle of water, just zap the water when they have no magic armor and they're stunned for the whole turn. <laughs> Or use an ice spell and just freeze them over. Having an ability to make a risk of rain <laughs> and some of the other abilities being focused on crowd control could be really interesting. But yeah, the main difficulty here is simply due to the fact that this is a new team and not Hobu Games. Any perceived patterns will not be applicable here. And since we don't know the theme, this is almost impossible without just going, here's a character. This is what I think, but I did try. 
Let's wrap this thing up. I believe that the most likely returning survivor is Enforcer, the most likely new survivor would be a melee fighter, and as the runner-up, the pilot from Risk of Rain Returns. Chef could also surprise me, but I think they're saving them for later. But those are my picks, my speculation. A lot of people have varying thoughts, so here's what some friends of mine have to say. Some of which you may know if you've been on the channel before. One survivor that I would want to see would be the house. You literally have to wait to get actual usable guns or actual usable things in all your skills. And honestly, that's the chicken cup way. You either go in or you just fucking die. <laughs> Two words. Shield. Slam. I've been playing Risk of Rain Returns recently, and if the licensing allows it, I would love to have the pilot in Seekers of the Storms. Quite frankly, like, pilot is one of the most mobile characters in any of the three games that they have released, and he is so fucking fun to play in Risk of Rain Returns. I'd probably just say pilot with Enforcer as a secondary. I think there's a lot of potential in both of those two. Please just put Enforcer in the game. I'm going to bed now. Good night. I know a lot of people are looking for Risk of Rain Return survivors. They want, you know, the Miner, Chef, the Sniper. It really does feel like Railgunner and Void Fiend got a lot more compared to the rest of their survivors. What I'd love to see is I'd love to see, like, one or two more skills added to a lot of the current roster. Especially characters that, while maybe a little more basic, could use a little bit more, like, oomph. So that's a good general thoughts on the matter. Chef is a funny robot. <coughs> Thank you all for your participation. It'll be interesting to see whether I'm right again, or if this time was a complete dud, or somewhere in between. I'm mostly just excited to see what this new team is capable of. Picking up such a well-renowned game from Hopu, and picking work back up on it must be daunting, so I wish them all the best. Now that this video is nearly done, I'm going to plan the big return for One Soul Down. Probably soon. I like being on break, but also, like, it's been a long time in the making, so we'll see. Give the trailer a peek. Hell, give the whole series a peek. See if it's something you'd like. Twelve episodes are up right now. And before you're wondering, no, Minecraft won't be the only game we play either, so if that's not your cup of tea, then maybe keep your eyes peeled for future game ideas. I also stream on Twitch, which has slowly become almost more of a primary source to find me at now, I guess. I also upload my schedule on Twitter, along with any news, what I'm up to here on Twitch or otherwise. Maybe go check that out. With the little self-promo bit done, that's it for me. A new age is dawning for Risk of Rain 2, and I'm looking forward to Seekers of the Storm. Again, thank you to those who participated in the video, and thank you for watching. What do you hope to see? Who do you think will drop into Petricor 5? When is one soul down Seekers of the Storm?